Hi friends, today we'll teach our children how to draw a fear. There are several ways to do it, depends on their age and drawing level. This is the first and easy way to occur to me. Beginning drawing a triangle in the up place. Then we draw another half triangle below, a little more large. Then we draw another triangle. Well, they are not really triangles, but you understand, it's not. Then a square. It is the very first way, and it is fine for about uh, three year children or so. Okay, well now, let's see a way a little more uh, advanced for older children. A more advanced drawing basically is the same drawing, but the lines, instead of being so straight, will draw them a little more organic, imitating the basic curves of a fear. Do you see? Basically, are exactly the same, with a little more curves, including the trunk, of, of course. It is not a straight either, second. Very easy too. They can color it, and it is a good word, okay? Let's see now a third way, with the same high. It is the same method, increasing the number of curves and detail. As you see, we achieve a more real effect, even if it is still um, a very easy method of drawing a fair. Do you see? There are a plenty of lines. I need more work, but the effort deserves it. It is still a really easy for anyone. Okay, the trunk too, and now, instead of drawing an end, we draw the flower. That's more natural, and now, We'll see how to draw a fear in a very much realistic way as for advanced kids, grown-ups or everybody who wish to draw a realistic fear without too much effort. We, be, we begin, as you see, with the same basic fur shape. It is very similar, just uh, this time we begin the basic shapes with the pencil, in this case a 2B, as always, and drawing the various layers that is a fear has, you see, will here I am leaving empty spaces where are the shadows are going to be. Cause going, when we are drawing something and we want it realistic, we have to draw in mind the shadows and lights. If not, we'll never see it real. I'm going down each layer in a little more uh, detail. Even there are no fears with many. Even there are more are fears with many shapes. I don't draw continual layers anymore. You see it? I really like first. This tutorial, well, you may use it now that Christmas are near, or at any other season to make a drawing. Set in a mountain or a snow villages, etc. Okay? It's going to be a successful for you. Okay, let's make a, a few more here. The difference between the first drawing and this one is each time I add more detail. It is basically the same, but each time it is more detailed, with more effort, a little more work, but not too complicated. I believe everyone, every child can make it to give them a, you can give them a chance. Okay, a little more here, a bigger branch, okay, and after that, uh, once, once I finish drawing first branches, you'll see I'll draw shadows, okay? As always, for those who are waiting, I tell the materials I use, what stuff I use, they are. As always, I'm using normal paper. Uh, every drawing paper is useful for, for it too. And the first pencil I'm using is a 2B. Then I'll use a 6B. And finally, I'll use an 8B. I'm going to change the cam's orientation to make you see it better because I think it doesn't fit in the focus below the trunk has more shadows because it is covered by leaves and light. 
Okay, a little bit here, right? I remember you. Carver is the paper. Don't stuff it. Let's move it to see it better. Yes, I think it sees better this way. Now draw the shadows for the feet casts in the ground and in the trunk. I don't elaborate in details. And now I'll start drawing the shadows. The branches have between them and behind them shadows. Because they are parts and branches we can see. There are shadows. And this gives us a 3D feeling. I remember some years ago, more than 20 graphic more than 20 years, graphic design software was not so known, and 3D expression was not so popular. Then we say chiaroscuro, perspective, volume, etc. And I remember when people began to say 3D all the time. At first I refused to say it, and finally I understood I was wrong. If you say 3D, almost everyone understands you. Then, well, you hear me saying it from time to time. Well, as you see, I'm beginning with the bigger shadows. These are those between branches and behind them, and after that, all elaborate them more and more. At each layer of a drawing, you must increase detail redirecting lines the way you like. There you go, okay? By now, I haven't used eraser. I'll use it later to give some lights and light it a little bit. Okay. If you see, it is similar. Drawing the first leaves so uh, plenty and large, it is similar to the system I used to draw animals fur. Just this time, the lines, instead of being curved and soft, we, uh, as are in a wolf's fur, now are straighter and rougher. Okay? It must give the feeling that are fierce leaves and more uh, poke. A little more here. Okay. I think this layer is already done. done. Now, I take the 6B pencil, it is softer and darker. I sharpen it, you don't see it, and I am going to start. To improve these branches, branches have shadows below them, and they cast a shadow too to the branch immediately down then, remember in this case too. As you see in the trunk, I figure light comes from the above, and the right side in the other. In other words, the darker shadows must be in everything in the three, three left sided. It may appear, it may appear uh, somehow confusing. I say the left as you see it darker, okay? Let's continue here. I open focused for you see it better. Okay, a little more shadows. As we said, light comes from above to the right. Yet not everything is to the left. Not everything to the left must be dark. Not everything to the right stays white because it is a tree, it has irregular shapes. There will be safe sides to one side, another to the opposite. Do you see it? But under every branch is always darker than above. Than above. And every branch casts a shadow below them. Okay. You've been asking more teaching kids tutorial, basic tutorials. Here you have one more, this time to draw a fair. It comes well at Christmas or any other time 
if you are not seeing it at Christmas. <laughs> I hope it will be useful for you and your kids, or if you are kids, that it helps and be easy to make. Okay, let's see, I'm going to soften a little with a brush. You may use any brass, only it has to be soft, not rough. What I'm going doing what I'm doing is soften my pencil lines, making them less marked. And so I everything so uh, is a little grey and it is easier with an eraser to remove grey and add lights. As one drawing teacher told me several years ago, the easiest way to make something look uh, light is darkening everything that surrounds it. It may seem obvious now. It is not enough to make something in pale or light tones. The other things must be darker too. Then, even otherwise dark things may appear lighter or gave more lights. I take some grey and take the 8B pencil to mark the final shadows. I start the pencil. Important! I think I have said it only a few times, and I repeat now. When you draw with a pencil, sharp it as many times as necessary. Why? Why a pencil? Uh, without sharp point will produce less interesting and less defined drawings. I repeat too, don't stuff the paper, caress it with the pencil. Sharp points will quickly improve your drawings. You know, I'm not a strict person. I have never said you must sharp with a blade or with a pencil sharpener. You must sharp with the useful way to, for you. To me, when I'm making a quick drawing like this one, I use a regular sharpener. But if I am sharpening um, a charcoal pencil, I use a blade. Okay? It is now taking personality. Step by step, we are achieving the reality feel. Little more here, more texture, the middle part of the tree, as we see it, should be darker, cause it gets less, gets less light. 8B pencil marks very good shadows and dark plexes, use it carefully, not everywhere, only where you intend to, intend to give a truly deep and dark feel. Okay, casado. Uh, okay. Okay, friends, it is almost finished. What do you like? What do you like it? Of course, you can make your comments below as you wish. Okay, little more. Okay, it is finished. Well, friends, that's all. If you like it, subscribe to the channel. See you next week. Bye.